you know I've been working with my vlogging camera a lot and uh, it doesn't have very good sound so uh, I wanted to get an external microphone for it so I drove all the way out to Best Buy yesterday to get the microphone and the guy that waited on me he acted like he didn't really even know what I was talking about and um, I mean he was a nice guy um, big like a football player <laughs> Anyway, um, he asked me out. He was like 25 years younger than me, and he asked me out. And I said, I said to him, you know, you're being silly. I, you know, I could be your grandmother. And he said, I liked my grandmother. So then after that, I went to the Bed Bath & Beyond because it was right next door to Best Buy. And I thought I was being so funny when the girl said, can I help you? And I said, yes, could you take me to the Beyond department? And she just stared at me. Anyway, so then I went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls to look for my bee venom cream, my beloved bee venom cream. And it's never there. And I don't know why I keep going there because whenever I go there, it's never there. They had this, this, this. Um, display in the middle of the store and it was uh, for charcoal uh, toothpaste and I had never seen that before I'd seen it reviewed but I'd never actually seen it in person and so I picked up the the box and I was reading the side of the box and it was talking about um, the woman who invented this charcoal toothpaste is like this beautiful woman with 15 kids from the hills of Kentucky and she has like a coat of many colors and her her son had a hard time with toothpaste so so she invented this charcoal anyway it went on and on and I mean I was practically crying in the store you know reading about Jessica and it said well if you care about entrepreneurship and Jessica and her children you should buy this toothpaste and so like I I was so there you know so I picked up the toothpaste <laughs> and and so I went to check out and I said to the girl this is charcoal toothpaste it's supposed to whiten your teeth do you think it works and she said I don't know that's 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 Jessica the the one with the coat of many colors and the okay all right so I take it home and what I didn't realize is charcoal actually means charcoal all right so this is the tube and okay so so this is what the toothpaste looks like and so you brush it oops you brush it and <laughs> your mouth is all black and the more you heat up the charcoal from the brushing motion the more it starts to splatter so it becomes like a charcoal homicide <laughs> in your bathroom I mean, the charcoal is spraying on the walls and the mirror and on your dog and on your clothes and it's like the biggest mess you could ever imagine. So to recap, that was my Sunday. I didn't get my microphone. I got insulted at Bed Bath & Beyond. I didn't get my bee venom cream and I ended up with a toothpaste that scares me. But other than that, it was a good day. Can you hear me tonight? I just keep falling down on my knees I've been fighting the darkest of wars All I'm asking is, Lord, give me peace Cause every time I try to make sense of it all I just feel like I'm close to the edge of the fall And I'm slowly drifting away Far away on the deepest of seas The world keeps spinning on I've forgotten just how to breathe And I keep running on When I should stand still Oh, I need to stand still I'm so happy to see you today. I hope you had a wonderful week and thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Cooper. Um, you know what? It has been over two years since I came in front of this camera here and told you all about how much I loved rosehip seed oil. And I had been on Retin-A and I decided I was going to switch out my Retin-A for nature's tretinoid and I was going to switch over to uh, using rosehip seed oil exclusively. And so now it's two years later 
and I wanted to sort of give you an update. So I've got some older videos that uh, I'm going to show you little clips of and I've got some older photographs of me um, before I used rosehip seed oil. And then I've got uh, some, uh, some pictures of last year too. But there absolutely has been progress and, and I'm very, very happy to report that to you. After two years, I'm not just reporting progress to you, but I'm actually sort of saying that, you know, I'm kind of at the end of the road. I mean, for being almost 63 years old, you know, this is about as good as it's going to get for me as far as um, even uh, skin tone, texture, uh, fine lines and wrinkles, you know, this is about, it is what it is. So after two years, I am still using the same brand of rosehip seed oil that I started with, the Aro Casio brand, and I will list it below. Um, most of the rosehip seed oil production uh, comes from Chile, um, and this one does come from Chile. Um, I've tried other brands. This is by far superior to all other brands that I have tried personally. Um, Certainly, I'm not saying I've tried all the brands, but this one I absolutely love. This one has, this is cold pressed and it has a very strong woodsy scent. And I need that scent. <laughs> Why? I just love it. I, I love it. It helps me know that the bottle is still good. And it helps me just feel very connected to this particular product and it's very very hard for me to explain that I haven't been adding things to my skincare routine I've been taking away because I realize that there's just a few things at night and a few things in the morning that have helped me with my complexion you know more than anything but the very pillar of my whole skincare is rosehip seed oil. So I, I think it's always good to keep in mind that the number one thing that ages us is not only the sun, but it's free radicals. And for us to fight the free radicals that are in the air, all this smoke and pollution and everything that's attacking our skin and making us look old, we need something to fight that. So we use um, antioxidants. And some of the very best antioxidants you can find in facial oil. So um, if you, you know, have a question like, well, you know, there are other things that I can use for scarring and wrinkles and so, you know, yeah, but rosehip seed oil, uh, rosehip seed oil is nature's tretinoin. It is nature's retin-A. So not only are you getting all the benefits of it being an antioxidant, you are, it's like using retin-A, nature's retin-A to speed up that skin, uh, cell turnover so your skin uh, becomes younger looking and fresher looking this the absolutely the same principle as retin-a it helps you with circulation it helps you fade those age spots that's on your face I cannot that's the number one thing that I see in my face is this even tone and you'll be able to see in the videos in the pictures my age spots have have almost disappeared using rosehip seed oil for two years. It has helped me with my fine lines. It's helped me with my deeper lines. It's helped me build collagen in my cheeks. What hasn't it done? <laughs> okay, don't answer that. So there are a few tips I'd love to pass on to you that makes uh, using rosehip seed oil a little bit more efficient. And number one would be make sure that you buy rosehip seed oil that is cold pressed. And, and try to look for that woodsy smell. If it doesn't have that woodsy smell, just, just go to another brand. Um, keep it cool. Keep it in the refrigerator. Rosehip seed oil is, it, it does very, very well uh, when it's kept cold. And it has a shelf life without uh, vitamin E. Uh, this particular rosehip seed oil does have vitamin E in it. But without vitamin E, it has a shelf life of about three months. With vitamin E, um, this bottle should be good for six months. But you'll know. You can tell when you have a dead bottle because it doesn't smell and it just feels real flat on your face. Woo! <laughs> and you're also going to remember that a little bit of rosehip seed oil goes a long, long way. And you use a little bit in the morning and a little bit at night. Underneath your makeup, sometimes I use a little bit over my makeup. Um, but it's something that you will know. Your body, well, you, I know this sounds strange, but it's like 
with rosehip seed oil, at least this has been my experience, you, you get in sync with it. You know, you know how much to use, you know when to use, and you know when to back off because there is always like about, I would say every three months, there's always maybe three or four days I just say, no, no, I'm just gonna take a break. And then I go back to using it and then it's, it's just really potent and fresh all over again. There's a lot of things to read about rosehip seed oil and a lot of scientific studies that they've done on rosehip seed oil and that they are doing as I speak. <laughs> So um, it's wonderful to read about it, to learn about it, to talk to your doctor perhaps and ask him what he thinks of you going on rosehip seed oil therapy uh, for your skin. It's a wonderful tool and, and you know I have um, uh, acne scars from high school and they are half what they used to be and I hope that shows up in, in some of the pictures that I'm taking. So yes, it's true, rosehip seed oil has gotten in incredibly popular with famous people talking about it, famous models uh, talking about how they always use it on the runway, and so many testimonials on YouTube of young people using rosehip seed oil to fade their acne scars. And so, uh, and people like me, uh, more mature ladies like me who talk about it uh, helping their fine lines and wrinkles. But most of all, the number one thing that rosehip seed oil has done for me is texture. And I think that's what you'll see, you know, if you look at some of my older videos, is the texture of my skin has been transformed. So I, I, I mean, what could be better than that? If you can relate to me at all, I, I am 63, I am Italian, I didn't spend a lot of time in the sun, but I did smoke for 40 years and I smoked 40 cigarettes a day and I just quit four years ago. So I was, my skin was a hot mess when I started. So, you know, I'm very, very passionate about this. If it helped me, then I'm thinking it might help you too. So. Um, I wanted to give you an update, so I hope you enjoy this today. Lauder double wear. So it's fun wearing these high-end foundations. I think the thing I notice most about them is All right. favorite movie quotes from a tree. You're a hooker? I thought I was just doing great with you. safe to say that I've made some progress in the last three years and I am so grateful that I found rosehip seed oil and you know those before and after pictures um, those were taken when I had makeup on and I know it's hard to believe um, but yeah I had a full face of makeup on uh, in the before pictures and I think you know that's a good lesson for you know me to really learn that no matter how beautiful your makeup, you, you can't cover up damaged skin. You can't cover up uh, skin that isn't healthy. And my skin was not healthy. I also don't want to give you the false impression that my progress was all rosehip seed oil um, because there are uh, pillars uh, to my day and uh, nighttime skincare routine that uh, I know contributed to a lot of my um, 
my progress. Uh, my alpha hydroxy acid creams that uh, I use in the morning. Um, my vitamin C that I love. Um, I use a cream that I love that has manuka honey in it, shea butter, and bee venom. Uh, I love that cream. I never can get it, but I, I love it. I ordered it last night off of eBay. But um, second to rosehip seed oil, I use a serum called Revival Serum. This serum by Dell bumped my game up so much that I kind of threw in the towel and said, okay, I have this, I have my rosehip seed oil, I'm good. Um, this, this serum is um, vitamin C, retinol, 2.5, and tea tree. And there are some people that absolutely cannot tolerate tea tree. And this takes a while to get used to. Um, but this is very powerful, so uh, I give um, this serum a lot of credit. Uh, but <laughs> I just started using this serum a couple months ago, so um, I have to say that I am very, very grateful that I, I found rosehip seed oil. Last week I was so surprised uh, when I mentioned how badly I felt as a little girl uh, sitting around watching the Miss America pageant and I was shocked that um, I wasn't alone and so many of you out there uh, also felt um, less than. Um, so anyway, um, I have a subscriber, a friend of ours here, uh, Stephanie Payne is her name, and she uh, left a, a beautiful comment referring to how it feels like to be a woman and judged only by how you look. And I love the comment so much, I, I wrote it down, and, um, and I'd love to read it to you, uh, if I may. And uh, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie wrote, we are not our faces. We are our souls. And they shine through our faces. And I love that. I really did. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I loved every second of it. So have a wonderful week. And when you're done with your week, please come back and see me and Cooper, okay? All right, it's a deal. As we're sitting here in silence, all I'm hearing is the rain. Don't mean to be so quiet, but there's nothing left to say. It's been going for a long time, but it's hard to cut the ties. When there's no turning back, no, and we're saying goodbye, trying to make.